All right, well, let's uh, climb out and see what we can find. Let's see. Hmm, there's a sliding ah! hatch. It must lead outside. Wah! Careful, Nate, don't fall out. Well, this certainly looks dangerous. Hmm, some sort of tank. Maybe a water reservoir. Or a ballast tank. Hmm. I admit I'm not an airship expert. Not yet. Yeah, we'll work on that. Hmm, some sort of... I nope. Nothing else with that. Got the rope with the grappling hook. I still can't believe that Mazaz was able to fool me so easily. Ah! I mean, me! The master of cheap tricks! <laughs> well, let's take that. Let's see what else we got going on around here. Almost looks like an eyeball or something there. Hmm, interesting. Check out the ladder. The rope ladder leads to a wooden construction on the balloon, but I can't reach it. I imagine you can, considering you we've got that. You might as well open up, Nate. You don't stand a chance. Eh, we might stand a chance. Anything else about this? The rope ladder leads to a wooden construction. Nope. Maybe something about Mazaz? It won't take Mazaz forever to smash the hatch. No, probably not, but hopefully we can do something about that before she manages to do something about the boat. It won't take... Alright. Anything else around here? We can check out the propeller. Ah! One wrong step and there goes our rating. Oh, oh that's, that's nasty. There's a stiff breeze on deck, but there's a much stronger draft here. Life on an airship isn't exactly without its dangers. You can say that again. Anything else? Climb back into the captain's cabin. So I guess there's just like a ladder that goes all the way under. Seems pretty dangerous. Um, the mazaz there ah! doesn't seem to be anything. Well, let's try going up here if we can. Surprised you didn't notice that at all. Nate's got really good aim, even though um, he had trouble with that bow competition. Like we're at the uh, what looks like a King Art flag, except it looked like it had a jester hat on. A flag with a strange coat of arms. Ah! It's tied to the main balloon with four cords. Hmm. Let's try taking it. Not a chance. These knots defy more than just wind and weather. All right. What's in the box? Just as I thought. Tools and materials for the maintenance and repair of the balloons. A brush. Putty knives, a needle with tear-proof thread, a roll of adhesive tape. I'll take that. <laughs> it's the magic tape that uh, Wilbur gets eventually. Or at least a uh, roll like it. A roll of powerful adhesive tape. For the life of me, I can't imagine how you're supposed to seal a hole in one of the balloons with it. But I'm sure you can fasten something with it. Yeah, I'm not sure how good it would be considering it doesn't look like it's duct tape. It looks more like uh, packaging tape. Anything in here? I don't need the other stuff. I just hope the balloons can yeah! go another few hundred miles without repair. Yeah, it would probably be a good thing. Got anything else around here? Climb back down. That is definitely an eyeball of some sort. In fact, that almost looks like a beak there. What is with the creepy dolls? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We can look at Mazaz. From up here, Mazaz almost looks like an ant. A 200 pound, muscle bound, yeah! green bounty hunting ant. That doesn't sound like fun. From up here, a 200. All right, nothing else to say there, so let's head down here. Okay, so with that tape, um. Use the tape with one. Yes, I can. Nice. Can I stick these together? I certainly can. Okay. Yes! <laughs> All right. The fun instrument. An instrument with a horrifying potential for fun. Yeah, yeah, sure. 
Let's see, uh, can I... Yeah, I can distract Mazaz with it. I could keep her busy longer if I attach the thing somewhere. Hmm. Maybe in this tank. Hmm. That could work. The horn acts as a funnel and compresses the headwind into the mouthpiece. <laughs> now quick! All right, we need to get her really? axe. What is that thing? Yeah. It's like Nate's on it. <laughs> now she won't be bashing through that too soon. Whew, that was close. But Sweet. I got the axe. That will at least gain me a little time. That's good to have. Let's check it out. The axe isn't very sharp. I'm not sure, but Mazaz might keep it dull on purpose. There yeah. are rumors about her. A wooden spoon and the heart of an enemy. I don't want to know the details. Yeah, I don't think I would want to know the details ah! either. However, I think I know what we can do with this axe. But we're going to need to climb up here. All right, now... Any I ought luck. to be able to cut through the cords with this, eventually. Nice. Whew, got it. All right, now we made um, a sort of parachute thing, I would imagine. A nice big flag. I cut the cords as far as ah! possible from the corners. Hmm, but how to use it? I mean, Nate obviously doesn't want to jump off the ship himself, so... Maybe I can attach it to Mazaz somehow. Yes, yes I can. Mazaz would notice if I tied the flag to her clothes. It would take too long. Hmm. Can I take this back down? Ooh, sweet. I don't think there's anything else up there for me, but the rope could still come in handy. I've got my ideas. All I need to do is mix and mingle a flag with a rope. Perfect. And now it's basically a parachute. Oh, man, I'm too young to die. Just like I thought. Do you want me to kill you? <laughs> what is that? Drop this? it. This? Sure thing. Does the term breaking shoot mean ah! anything to you? <laughs> nice. Zazzy, Zazzy, you shouldn't mess with people who are smarter than you. Come a little closer. I'll show you who you shouldn't mess with. <laughs> oh, really? I'm going to do... <laughs> okay, let's do this. One. I'm warning you, Ned. Here we go again. Two. You'd better think about this. I'll follow you to the end of the world to get my revenge. She What's actually the does. Difference? You're hunting me now, even though I just want to be left in peace. But next time it'll be personal. We're right over the Northlands, miles from the nearest settlement. By the time you get your hands on a ship, I'll be several days ahead of you. All right, let's get that last finger oh, out of there. Just one knobby little finger left. You know what, Nate? I'll leave you for now. But we'll be meeting again sooner than you think. Hey Nate, there's Don't there's, worry, I'll find you. After all, you won't be going much uh, farther. You what the Uh There's totally uh -oh. something behind you. <laughs> I think I just heard a Wilhelm scream there. That was nice. Protected by Petra. Hmm. What if you landed on one of the penguins? Hmm? What then? <laughs> they look okay to me. Hey. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> Star Wars reference. Whoa! Hey! Uh, 
That is most definitely a Star I'm Wars reference. I'm afraid I know what that is, and I'm afraid I know its plan for me. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> a cylinder. Oh, lightsaber. Ooh, a metal cylinder. Maybe the handle of an ancient weapon. Yes, from a uh, long, long time ago in a far-off galaxy. Just a bit more! <laughs> oh, please tell me Nate's gonna do what I think he's gonna do. All right, time to concentrate. Yes! <laughs> this lousy just doesn't work. <laughs> That's fantastic. That really is. Uh-oh. Could you, uh... Oh. Uh... Wow. I never knew creatures were that good with pepper shakers. Pepper grinders? Whatever. Let's check out this apple we got. An amazingly crisp, tasty apple. The Yeti will enjoy this. Wasn't this a uh, red apple before? An amazingly... All right. Um, can we do anything else with that this? That won't work. It's just too far away. Hmm. All right. Huh. There's like a picture of a guy on the wall there, and also a picture of a Yeti or a werewolf or something. Be nice if I could get after this pack. That uh, has some really good stuff on it. <laughs> Little snowman. Hmm. What do we have? Got an oil lamp. Strange. You wouldn't expect such modern technology in a Yeti cave. <laughs> Maybe the previous owner of the cave ran into the Yeti and, well, that's quite a kind of possible considering we see this picture on the wall. Anything else about this? The lamp is filled with oil. If it fell, the oil might catch fire and cause some confusion. That might work out. The lamp is... Yeah, that's about it for that. Um, there's a lot of sticky notes all over this place. Cooking pot, huh? I'd love to think that the Yeti is making me a nice hot soup. But the reality is probably very different. Yeah, the Yeti probably wants to make you into a hot soup. I'd love to think... Yeah, nothing else about that. What do we have going on here? We can look at the Yeti. Um, I guess we'll do that. This is what I hate about living in a fantasy world. We've got absolutely everything here. <laughs> a two meter tall hairy monster that lives in the eternal ice and eats people? Sure, why not? <laughs> Even if I got my feet out of the ice and could escape the monster, I wouldn't be safe. Out hmm. there is an icy waste waiting for me and Mazaz. I just hope that Mary survived the collision with the flying iceberg. She's my only chance of escape. Well, I would probably take my chances with Mazaz than the Yeti that's about to cook you anyway. As soon as I get my feet out of the ice, I have to either escape unnoticed or whine so pitifully that the Yeti turns away in disgust. <laughs> At any rate, the guy is too big and hairy to fight. I imagine he would do the latter of the two. As soon as I get my feet out of the... At any rate... Nothing else there. All right, well, I imagine throwing an apple at this is going to be the only thing I can really do at the moment. So let's try it. Come on, Nate, you can do it. carefully and... <laughs> well, that didn't work out. The monster's <laughs> out cold. Now to get out of here. Yeah, but weren't you already frozen? I don't know if you're going to be able to get out of there. How do you freeze your feet anyway? Monster? Uh, what monster? What? What the? <laughs> what? What are you doing up there, young man? Hmm? Uh, random gnome in a yeti suit who was make-believing that he was going to eat me. Fantastic. Who are you? Who? Who are you? Cornelius Montgomery Happerplatt is the name. Happerplatt? That's a name. <laughs> now, see here. I'm a zoologist, mountain climber, and recognized expert in the field of polar exploration. I'm sure and you are. And along the way, you like a little cosplay? This is part of my mission. 
I am on the trail of a major discovery. <laughs> a mystery. A sensation. Hmm. I am searching for... Mickey Mouse. The Yeti. That too. So, uh, you're looking for a Yeti? Have you, have you already encountered the Yeti? Not personally, but I have discovered footprints and hair. I believe he has even been here in my research station. Uh -huh. Oh, really? <laughs> Incredible. Oh, he is clever. It's as if he knows my every step and thus escapes observation. Or he's you. Do you, uh, sometimes have headaches? Are you all right? Do you sometimes have headaches, or do you hear voices? At the moment, I only hear your voice, old chap. <laughs> Hi, Mr. McGill. <laughs> no, 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 quite seriously. I don't hear the voices as frequently as I did, but I have had constant headaches since the fall. Blackouts as well. Wow. For example, I can't remember what I did this morning. I kind of think I know fell? what you did. Into a crevasse. I was following the trail of the Yeti for several hours. The clever beast led me in circles, again and again. And eventually you got so dizzy you fell into a crevasse. It was exhaustion. I had been hunting the monster for several months, and they all thought I was mad. Since my fall, the situation has improved. I find tracks much more often. <laughs> Things are finally looking up, my young friend. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, pretty cold and white here, isn't it? We're in the Northlands, right? Indeed. One could say we're up to our ankles in snow and ice. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood for jokes. My airship crashed. How can I get away from here? I'm rather pessimistic about the next few months. Winter is coming. This isn't winter? Oh, not at all. In winter, you would freeze within 20 minutes. This is a beautiful summer's day. You can survive almost an hour in the open. Ah. Terrific. Could you help me? I'm stuck. How did you get up there? I suspect that the Yeti hung me up here in his pantry. The Yeti was here? Ooh, uh, did you see him? Yeah, With maybe. my own eyes. He was hairy and white. About your size. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Get me down! The Yeti isn't the only dangerous creature here in the area. The real danger is green and hopping mad. Have <laughs> you tried taking off your shoes? Hmm. Well, that's mm. something. Hey, that works. Young man? There you go. Hey, he looks like he has shoes on still. Wait a moment. I have some shoes you can use, and I shall make us a nice hot soup. It's nice to have... Ooh, everything okay? Ah! Well, that's not good. I don't believe it. <laughs> Okay, um... Hmm... Can I take the handle now? I'm gonna guess no. Hey, it's Critter! Hey, Critter. Can you help me out here? It'd be nice. Help! Come here! <laughs> And think of something. Great. My fate will depend on the outcome of a fight between a huge white monster and a little pink one. <laughs> I wonder what sort of critter that is. Hmm. <laughs> Knit sweater. <laughs> That's great. A little earlier. Oh. <laughs> hey, Lando. Hey, Leia. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Actually, that might be his uncle. <laughs> so does that mean that Critter is Luke Skywalker? Wow.
<laughs> you funny. I hey. think we should leave you behind. <laughs> no. Are you trying to kill us all, boy? Kukum. Speak in the tongue of this country. Bula <laughs> Dulaha. He must learn it, Layla. Leave him be. Didn't mean it. I know. It's mere incompetence. <laughs> I don't wish to stay here for another year just because of him. Leave alone. Get to work, and you out. Go someplace where you can't make trouble. Papa! Hmm. Well, that looks important. Chokong. <laughs> oh, wow. And that guy almost looks like Chewy a little bit. Wow. Okay, well, next time we'll find out what's going on in here in uh, Critter's house? Spaceship? I don't know what the hell this is. But uh, I'll see you all later.